So this is part three of Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. In this section, we are going to be looking at a couple of different pieces. So we're going to be starting from the end of lesson three, uh, lesson two, sorry, got that right. Um, and at the end of that lesson, we ended with a sequence of open E harmonics on the 12th fret on the G, B, and E strings. And then, although I wrote it wrong, open B and open G on the way back up, not 12, which is how I wrote it. Um, so it should sound like this. And that low E is the start of the next round for okay? So that is, as we see here on the tabs, exactly the same as the beginning of the song. We're back to just playing our thumb on the low E, first finger on the G, second on the B, third finger on the high E, and then back up onto the B and the G string. We're going to do that three times. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to get into these chords, right? So what we're going to be playing is an E minor chord using an A minor shape with bar on the 7th fret and root on the A string 7th fret. We're going to play the low E open. Then that 7th fret on the A string, that's our E octave. And for this we're going to use our thumb. And then we're going to use our three fingers on the G, B and E strings. And the last two, the B and the E, we're going to play together, that 7 and 8, okay? Then we're going to be switching to our three fingers being on the D, G and B. So we can play with our thumb on the A string for this D shape, okay? Fifth fret with our first finger, seventh fret with our three fingers there, so our second, third and fourth fingers. And the high E is going to be barred there, okay? We're not going to be playing that one just yet. We'll play it in a, the next set, of course. So we'll make sure we get that bar good and strong, just to practice. And then the next one, we've got a C shape, so a C chord. So we're going to be playing our third fret on the A string. And then we're going to play all of these fives all together. So we've got five on the D, G, and B string. And again, we're going to be barring the third fret on the there on the high E, even though right now we're not actually playing that. We're going to keep it barred just because we're going to need it later. So just thumb and then three fingers. And then optionally, you can play on the way back up that D chord one more time. Thumb and all three fingers together on the A, D, G, and B strings. All together. And then we're just going to repeat that section. So where we have brackets up at the top, we're going to have it times three for the beginning, and then we're going to have times three for this part. This is the next section. Okay, so got that section we're going to be moving on now to the final go round so we're going to do this three times right then on the fourth time we're going to do this version okay so a slight variation first chord's the same still the same chords for the first three chords but we're going to play them slightly differently so the first chord's the same chord 
and we're going to play it the same way. But now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the pattern that we used on our first chord on the next chords. Okay, so instead of playing them as blocks like we did, we're going to play them like this. And then we're going to make this into an arpeggio. Thumb on the A and the D, and then G, B and E. We're going to be taking care of with our first, second and third fingers on this hand. So, bum, bum, first, second and third. Second and third are gonna to go together to play the seventh fret on the B string and the fifth fret on the high E. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this. Same pattern again now, we're gonna move a chord down to the C. D chord, okay, so same pattern on the D as we do on the C. And then we're going to move to a G major bar chord, okay, root on the G there, third fret on the low E. And our pattern on the right hand is going to be exactly the same, it's just going to move the whole thing up one set of strings, up in the physical direction, lower on the guitar on the pitch, okay, so it's going to sound like this. Thumb is going to come up to the low E and take care of the low E and the A string. First finger and then two fingers there. We're going to use our second and third fingers to play the fourth fret on the D string and the third fret on the G. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to switch to B7 shape. I'm going to keep our little finger there. So this shape is essentially like a D7 shape, if you know that, and inside out D. We're going to have our second finger on the second fret on the second, second fret on the A string. First finger, first fret on the D. Third finger, third finger is going to be on the second fret on the G. Okay, and then our little finger, our fourth finger on the left hand, will be on the second fret on the high E. Okay. And we return to the same finger picking pattern we've been using the whole way through. This time we return to how we had it when we did our C. We're going to be starting with our thumb on the A string. The thumb's going to do the A and the D string and then we're going to switch to our fingers. Okay, so it should sound like this. high E together and then I like to pull off pull off that fourth finger there on the second fret to an open E and then I switch my fingers I leave my second one where it is take the rest off and put my second finger on the second fret that's still there from before on the A string and the third finger is going to go on the second fret on the D string and that's going to give us an A minor, which is going to be our next chord, okay? So in the next section, we're going to talk about the chords, the main chords for the rest of the song, which are actually mostly the chords we've already done. Uh, so it's going to be good fun when we get into that. So I'm going to play the whole thing through one more time. Just like this. From the harmonics. Okay. to the chord section and that'll be next lesson okay fantastic so any questions drop in the comments uh, like and subscribe all of those things all right see you next time